Hi guys, this is Rashid and you're watching Step by Step Robotics. So it's been a while since my last video because I was quite busy with my full-time works project. So today I would like to show you some cool projects that I'm working with my colleagues, Shidar and Shello from Ginza Farm. And the project is about controlling the robot by using WebRTC. It seems like what we have done before on the delivery cart and avatar robot but this time it's more special because we're gonna use a G29 steering wheel to drive the robot so it can give you a feeling of you are driving the real car so if you're ready let's get started here's today's robot the basic AT car system on top here we have a 360 webcam and a 360 LiDAR TG30 we are using JMO app with just Nano for controller and interface with ESC and other components such as DC-DC regulator and Wi-Fi router. In front here, we have LED lights for night patrolling. The robot architecture is pretty simple. On the operator side, we just need a PC with a G29 steering wheel and go to the console page which we can see a video streaming. The data of G29 steering wheel is sent through internet to signaling server which we can launch it on Amazon EC2 or any virtual server you want. So the WebRTC that we are using is Momo Ayame. You can check more detail on the link here. And once the connection from robot and user got established, that is a magic moment. So the camera on the robot will be streaming to the console while data channel will bring all the movement of the steering wheel to use for robot control. We are using ROS for ease of communication between nodes and passing the data from console. In order to move AT card, we need to send SBUS command topic, which consists of SBUS steering and SBUS throttle values. These commands come from the console data receiver nodes that pass the data received from the WebRTC data channel. The good thing about using a steering wheel is we can enable force feedback, which can give a feeling of driving a real car. JMO app board has IO2 interface with relay, and we are using it for turning on off the LED lights. We can set up how much the resistance of the steering wheel and the limitation to turn. In our case, we enable auto center and set to 360 degree ranges. Now it's time to run the bot outside. I'm following the bot at the back, so if there is something happen, I could immediately take control of the robot. My colleague Shidar, he is the operator this time, and all of the robot movements is from watching a video streaming and adjust a steering and throttle on his side. Most of the time, the latency is not that bad. We could control the robot in real time with the speed around 1.5 to 2 meters per sec.
just in some place the internet signal is not that good so we can see some lag on streaming I think we can improve the way to attach 4G modem on the robot by putting it higher it could help this a lot We put a LiDAR to do a rear obstacle avoidance, so in case we have only one camera, this could be a safety feature. So it's time to go patrolling at night mode. With the LED lights, it's easier and safer to drive the robot at night time, and the operation is working great too. You can notice this time we are trying using a projector instead of TV screen, so in the future, if we have a super wide camera, this will give a nice feeling of control the cart. And that is for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. And this is another fun project that we can interact with the robot. And I think in the near future, there will be something like this more and more. We can use these technologies in many applications like patrolling vehicles where um, user is driving from somewhere else. Or imagine that you can even put these technologies on your uh, lawn mower and drive this on your area. And it's like playing a game and there is a ton of idea out there. So if you like my videos, please press like button. And if you want to see more of my robot journey video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon.